Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My name is Abdul Rahman Bashir and I serve as an Imam with the Islamic Association of Allen in Allen, Texas. I want to start off by sharing a few facts with you. Suicide death occurs every 11 minutes in the United States and for every suicide death there are at least 20 attempts. One in three Muslims who seek therapy report suicidal thoughts. Um, you know, suicide is an issue that remains poorly understood and under-researched, and many imams and community leaders like myself don't really have the proper training to detect and address suicide warnings and concerns. Things like Islamophobia, discrimination, uh, social isolation, and the overall challenges and pressures of a day-to-day -day can cause a serious concern for someone who is already on the tightrope or at risk for suicide. Um, our community in Allen, Texas experienced a heavy tragedy when the lives of an entire six-member household came to a sad end due to a murder-suicide. Now, although our community faced the brunt of that grief, the shockwaves were felt way beyond our city and our national borders. As an imam, I have dealt with many a loss and family tragedies but no way could I have imagined to be the, at the helm of such a disaster. You know, personally, my mind was grappling with so many thoughts on which angle to even personally process, let alone steering the community. The night of that tragedy, dozens of imams and community leaders from the Dallas-Fort Worth area were invited to a Zoom meeting with Dr. Rani Awad. And... I came out of that phone call with an outlook on the issue of suicide that we don't really study in the books of tradition. You know, as Imams, we find ourselves as first responders, if you will, for the emotional needs of many people in our congregation because they feel comfortable reaching out to us. So it's very crucial to be equipped with the knowledge and skills to be able to identify thoughts and feelings that may lead to loss of life. Uh, I am forever grateful to the insight I have gained uh, from Dr. Rania and the mission at Maristan. And now it is their goal to expand this training to 500 Imams in the upcoming year so they can better handle the issue and concern of suicide. So imams and leaders, please don't pass up this opportunity when it crosses you. And for everyone else, please be a part in helping to impart this knowledge so that we can heal each other, change minds, and change hearts. This is a wonderful cause to donate to, and you won't know whose life you will be changing or whose life you will be saving. Jazakumullahu khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.